Hi guys, it's Whipple here with uh, Team SRSE, and I'm coming at you with a new training pack that we're gonna we're gonna start a series going forward. This is gonna be the lower level training pack, so uh, I'm gonna walk you through uh, setting that up, downloading the code, uh, jumping right in, and uh, walking you through each shot of how we created it, what we expect on it, and how it's gonna help you hopefully in the future improve. And uh, I would say this is roughly between if you are bronze through diamond, this could really help you. I mean, it could still help you at a higher level. You'll probably be able to ace these and maybe put a little more flair on it if you're champ or above. But anyone in that diamond and below range, this is specifically uh, tailored for you. So you're going to want to go to uh, custom. I'm going to give you this code here. You'll see it on the right side of the screen. I'm also going to link it below in the description so you can just copy and paste that. But let's hop right in and I'll show you a couple of the shots and uh, what we're going to do. So as we load right in, you will see all of the uh, all of the hotkeys on the side. Uh, if you want to reset the shot, say you started too early, what you want to do is you want to hit that top right bumper and it's going to reset that shot for you. There's a few things that you can also do. You can mirror the shots by pushing the down button on the D on the D pad. And you can also select certain shots by hitting the select button. So if you feel like there's one shot that really stands out that you need to work on. So maybe a wall clear or something uh, that I'm going to show you, you can go back to those. No problem by hitting that select key. But let's get started on this first shot. What we're going to want to do is we're just going to want to meet this ball, put it right in the back of the net. Now, don't don't think that you have to jump early to get this ball. You can wait for it to come down, whatever you're comfortable with. The goal here is to beat the defender to the ball. We're trying to get a good touch before he can get it cleared away. You know, we we always say that strikers have a harder time than a defender because I've got to put it in this little hole and all he has to do is stick it or get a touch on it and get it anywhere outside of the field. But the more comfortable you get with this shot, the better. You're going to be you're going to be pounding it in the back of the net before you know it. Uh, as you get a little more comfortable, maybe uh, meet the ball a little sooner. Meet, meet it while it's still up in the air. Try to place it, you know, in a different area. Say you got a defender to the right. You want to put it to the left um, and then also hit that mirror shot that downward d-pad and it's going to change the shot completely for you when i hit down here it's going to go to the right and then it's going to go to the left so you're going to get two different reads on the same shot that you can be able to just really hammer home on to the next shot shot number two this one it's going to be just a weird roller Unlike the one that's bouncing off the wall, this is another one where you just need to be able to read it quickly. See where it's going and see if you can uh, if you can get it. It's going to go a different way each time because of the way sometimes the training packs, the ball, it just acts in weird ways. So just get the read and then you're also going to hit that. Uh, just do it as many times as you feel comfortable to where you can read that. We're trying to get to the ball as fast as possible, but you also want to make sure that it's clear the goal to where you can score it. If I if I go early, let's if I go too early, that does me no good, right? I need to make sure it's in a scoring position and I can and I can throw it in there. So if I meet the ball too early, I just need to make that adjustment. On to shot number three. Number shot number three is just the same as the first one, just a little bit higher. So what you want to do is you want to pace yourself and just make sure you're putting it in. This one might be a little more advanced if you are bronze, silver, or plat, but I still think it's not, or bronze, silver, or gold. I still think it's something that you can do really easily though. So if you need to wait for it, wait, get a shot on it like that. Uh, the fourth shot is, is simply your, this is my, my thought process. Your opponent has double committed. Your teammate has cleared the ball all the way down. And what we're trying to do is we're just trying to get to the ball before a, it either bounces off the post or they get back to it to clear. How many times do we, uh, do we get a, a big clear like this, but we can't get to the ball in time. I just want you to be fast. I want you to get that ball and I want you to put it right in. Try not to, uh, try it without boost. Sometimes, you know, you're in this situation boostless. And uh, just all in all, get it down there, get it put in. Uh, the next shot, 
It's the same one, just the other side. Um, number five is it's a weird wall read here. What we're trying to do is just get comfortable with reading it where it's bouncing off the wall. Same one from the other side. We just want to know where it's going, meet it, and put it in the net. Um, a lot of people try to just hit this back to the corner, bounce it around to the middle, and your opponent gets an easy clear because your teammate doesn't think that you're actually going for uh, a pass there. He thinks you're probably going to try to score it. So thought process change. Put that ball in the net rather than just trying to hit it off a wall somewhere. Try to catch it. Try to hit it early. Just work on that. This next one's going to be a wall clear. All we're going to do is we're going to clear this ball. It's going to be bouncing different ways, so don't think that each time it's going to be the same exact roll. Sometimes it's going to be a little shallow. Sometimes it's going to pop out. So you need to watch where that ball's going and meet it. Just like that. Uh, if you wait and you let it get back too far, like here, like you're trying to read it here, now you have to challenge a defender, or I, I'm sorry, now you have to challenge the offense of the other team because you let the ball get too far. If I'm too worried to make a challenge early, I've now got to contend with them. But if I can come off this wall and I can get a good clear, then uh, it's going to stop it from going in front of my net. So on to the next shot. This one is another wall shot, just the other side. This one's a little bit different though. This one's uh, trajectory is not as fast. So it's going to make you mix it up a little bit. So you're going to have to wait on this one. And just try to get a touch on it while it's still in the air. If you need to let it hit the ground, that's fine also. If you want to just let it hit the ground and catch it, that's fine. But just remember that defender, he's going to be reading that ball also. So the quicker you can beat him to that ball, the more opportunities you're going to have to score. Uh, the next shot is just that same... I just want to get down the field as quick as I can while being in control of my car. There's too many times that we're speeding at this ball and we're flipping out of control. And when we get here, we do that. Well, that one actually went in. But we're flipping, we're going too fast, and we're out of control. And we just, you know, we give them possession again. So stay in control of your car and get downfield. Uh, this one is another clear. Just reading that wall. These are, these are huge. Getting touches off this wall are going to help you keep the ball out of your net. And in turn, that's going to help you change that into offense. So being stuck on defense the whole time, just barely getting clears, these are going to help you move forward. But that's the end of this session. Like I said, this one's for the lower rank. We're going to come out with a higher ranked one uh, in the future. Make sure you stay tuned for that. But uh, get out there and practice, and uh, let's go up in ranks. Let's have a good time. And uh, don't forget our tournaments on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday nights over at Twitch forward slash Team SRSE. I'm Whipple, and uh, that's it for today. See ya.